Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to talk about a application or task or whatever it is. I'm not sure what it is. It's called Game Bar Presence Writer. Today's date is March 28th, 2018. Now, let's get started here. This is the unsung hero of sneaky process. However, it only comes up whenever you're in game. It doesn't come up on its own any other time. You won't know it's there until you alt tab out of the game and check in task manager to see this process running. And if you have task manager set up in a way which will allow you to see all processes, not just your process under your profile, this is a sneaky application. And I don't know what the intent of it is. And I will show you towards the end of this video but it is not solely dependent on Xbox service to be disabled. It is independent of that. Many people have gone to the forums and have written that even with Xbox Live service uninstalled, this service still runs in the background. You cannot disable it. It's not a service. You're not going to find it. You cannot get rid of it by uninstalling Xbox Live. The best thing to do is the most simplest is to rename the service so it does not start up and then reboot your computer. This is a very, very unusual application that runs in the background, but it has attributed to the following. Lower than expected frame rates, stuttering, lag if you're playing first person shooters online, because not only does it take CPU cycles, it also takes up RAM and it also phones home taking bandwidth. Now we know that you don't need a whole lot of bandwidth to play a first person shooter game online. However, you do need priority for your packets to get to the server and vice versa. This app takes priority, although it doesn't require your entire bandwidth, but because we have not gotten to a point with our routers that we can create application specific quality of service, it's going to take a everything it can take up in order to do what it needs to do to phone home. So for a brief second or two, you might get your full bandwidth being used and it trickles down as it needs it and then it turns off, but it also gets top priority. And that's where you get issues when you play Battlefield, when you play Overwatch, where you play CSGO, whatever you're playing, and you get these oddities. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough that you sit back and wonder if there's something wrong or if, there's, if you have high ping or whatever the case may be. This application is causing that, and it's causing that for a lot of people, but they do not know that this even exists because of the way it operates. It operates undercover while you're in game. I'm going to show you how to rename it. You can't just go in and rename it because it is Ownership is through Trusted Install, so you're not going to be able to right-click and change it. I'm going to show you how to do that in a sec. Here it is right here. I have it right here. You see that right there? I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to add myself, right, because I'm not there, and I don't have access to doing anything. So I'm going to go here. You see Trusted Installer here. Now I'm going to change that to me, and I'm going to check the name, make sure it's right, hit OK, and I'm going to hit Apply. And you should see there, taking ownership, letting you know that. Now it takes you out, and you got to go back into it again. Now that I'm the owner, now I can add myself as a principal. So you go here, select the principal, add my name, check, hit OK, and I want to give myself full permission, full control. Hit OK, and now that I'm there, hit Apply. And you see this little screen, I'll let you read it, but basically you just pop up warning you that, that you're making this change. Now you want to go back out, and you check your name, and you realize you have full control. Now, this, unfortunately, if you read any other or watch any other YouTube videos regarding this, this is not the end. You want to restore Trusted Installer as ownership of this file. So let's go ahead and change this back so that Trusted Installer is the owner of this file. You want to go here. You want to change ownership. Now watch this. Watch this now. And this is case sensitive. Now, you see how I wrote that? It's case sensitive. You have to write it this way in order to get Trusted Installer back. Uh, and I, sometimes I don't do it right. The forward slash. And there you go. Trusted Installer is there. You hit OK. You see the Trusted Installer is there. Hit Apply and OK. Now, when you go back into it again, you have Trusted Installer here, but you've added yourself as a principal to the file. So now that you've done that, you can go ahead and make changes to it. Now, I wouldn't do anything fancy. I would just, just add a numeric value and be done with it now. Now, I'm going to show you some evidence to this. And I just did some Google searching. And here, for example, you see this post talking about it. And, oh, Grand Theft Auto, that's the game. He's got Grand Theft Auto 5 up. And Game Bar Presence Writer is there. As, as you can see here in this example, it won't show up unless you're in a game. And that this is the proof right here. And uh, 
Now he circles it to show you that it's there. Now, at the time that he brought this up, it was only taking two, two megabytes of memory. It wasn't taking any CPU cycles from him, but that is contingent on what it needed to do at the time or if it's on a clock or whatever the case may be. But at the time that he exited out, it wasn't, it just looks like it's not doing anything, but in game it does. All right, so here's another example. And uh, it's just, here's one guy that says, it's worse than just running. I checked and it's always using internet and using up bandwidth. What's, what's it uh, phoning home? And he said, I don't know. Uh, so, you know, so that's proof right there that it is using bandwidth. It's not just using a CPU and, and memory. It's using your bandwidth. And it only does it while you're in game. Maybe if you were just playing a game that doesn't require you to get on internet, it's fine. But if you need internet and you need packet priority in the games that you play, this is a huge problem. So here's one, this is regarding the Microsoft Surface tablet. And as you can see here, uh, it just tells you what it is. Um, there's more and more, and again, this is a year ago, but it didn't come on the radar because no one knew that this process was working because no one explained that this process kicks in only when you're in a game. So people don't see it. And here's another example of what it is. As you can see here in this example, the process known as Game Bar Presence Writer belongs to software, Microsoft Windows Operating System. You see that? It doesn't say Xbox Live Service. So I need you to see that right there for yourself so you know that this is a process belonging to the operating system and not to Xbox Live. Here's one person who... Uh, posted something very interesting. It says, Stutter seems gone for me in Battlefield 1. Now, with this game bar presence writer disabled, running the same as 1607, touch wood. Pretty pissed if this was the issue all along. Now, he wrote. somebody also wrote, it would be downright ridiculous if this was the issue all along. After all the logs sent to NVIDIA and Microsoft, the game bar was actually enabled all along, even if the user had disabled it in settings. Ding, 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 ding. See, you can't turn it off, and there's no option to turn it off. It's going to come on. So here you talk, people are talking about it. They tell you where it's located. It's there. It's not hidden, but the, how the process works is, and that is a problem in and of itself. So...